Are you thinking about moving to Pompano Beach, Florida? In this video, we're going to be talking about the good, the bad, the pros and cons about living in Pompano Beach, Florida. I love answering questions like this to clients thinking about moving here. Let's get into it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about living in Pompano Beach, Florida, then make sure to subscribe down below and don't forget to tap on that bell to be notified about the current market in Pompano Beach, Florida. My name is Adela Phillipson. We get calls, texts, and emails every day from people just like you thinking about moving to Pompano Beach, Florida, and we love it. Whether you're thinking about moving here in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All the information is down below in the description. So as I mentioned, we're gonna talk about the good, the bad, the pros and cons of living in Pompano Beach, Florida. Let's talk about the cons first, crime. Now, I would highly recommend you look at the Pompano Beach Police Department's website to get the most accurate crime rate and along with its statistics and data. But the consensus is, especially according to the residents, that the southern part of Pompano Beach is safer than the northern part. And when I do say northern and southern, Atlantic Boulevard is the street that separates the north and south of Pompano Beach. The crime rate in Pompano Beach is slightly higher than the national average in the United States. There are plenty of opportunities to live in a great neighborhood in Pompano Beach. I would just highly recommend checking with the Pompano Beach Police Department in the website just to verify the actual activity per neighborhood. Now that we've gotten that one out of the way, let's discuss some other cons. Another con is the cost of living. Pompano Beach is a tourist area, so you are going to be spending a bit more in terms of food, groceries. The cost of living is 5% higher than the national average. Another con in Pompano are the schools. In Pompano Beach, the school system is not the best. According to greatschools.org, Pompano Beach's elementary schools rate higher on average compared to its middle schools and high schools. Some of the elementary schools in Pompano that are great are Palmview, McNabb, and Crest Haven. The middle schools tend to be a little bit more challenging, and again, according to greatschools.org, there is summer set, they happen to have a rating of 5 out of 10. There are two high schools in Pompano Beach. According to greatschools.org, Pompano Beach High School currently has a rating of 10 out of 10. Now those are the public schools. Pompano Beach does offer private schools, whether they're magnets or charter schools or just private schools, and they can range anywhere between 5,000 up to 25,000 per student per year. So there's many options if you're not wanting to do the public route. Now that we've discussed all the cons and gotten all the negativity out of the way, let's go ahead and be more lighthearted and talk about all the pros of Pompano Beach, Florida. Pompano Beach is another coastal city just north of Fort Lauderdale that has a lot to offer to the residents as well as the tourists because of its beautiful beaches, turquoise water, and the opportunity to have that beach lifestyle. Which brings me to one of the first pros, the beautiful beaches. Pompano does have beautiful sands, turquoise water, and it does offer lots of restaurants along the beach so you can have that relaxing vacation feel even when you reside here. Let's talk about another pro, the opportunity to enjoy multiple outdoor activities. Not only can you end up kayaking, paddle boarding, surfing, but you can also end up fishing, snorkeling, as well as enjoy the multiple parks as well as the preserves in Pompano Beach. Another pro, golf. Pompano Beach has its own public golf course located just off of US 1. They have two 18-hole golf courses for just under $50 per person green fee. 
Another pro, weather. There's a reason millions of people come to Pompano Beach. It's sunny, beautiful, warm, and on average 75 degrees, so you can jump into the ocean any time of the year. Another pro, convenient location. Pompano Beach is centrally located between West Palm Beach and Miami, so it's very easy to get to either city so that way you can kind of make it like a day trip. And it's not far if you wanted to venture off into nature and go to the Everglades. So it's a great location and it's not far from the Fort Lauderdale Airport either. Another pro, real estate. Pompano Beach is less expensive than its neighboring city, Fort Lauderdale, and it really has a lot to offer. For example, a waterfront property in Pompano Beach, you'll be looking at a minimum of a million dollars, whereas in Fort Lauderdale, you'd be closer to 1.8 or 2 million. The great part about Pompano Beach, the city itself, is that it is spending and has already spent millions and millions of dollars renovating, redeveloping it, especially that downtown kind of area. They just finished the pier. So overall, the value in the homes will end up going up over time once everything is completed. I hope this is giving you some insight into looking and living in Pompano Beach, Florida, and definitely give us a call, send us a text, or send us an email. All the information is down below in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and tap the bell to be notified so you're the first to be notified about the current market in Pompano Beach, Florida.